Thanks to Track Club for sponsoring this video. They say that if you want to shoot on film, you have to show people you can shoot on film. So this is what we're doing today. We've got Monroe behind us, <laughs> and we are shooting on the Canon 514XL Super 8 camera. This is the new camera for you guys who uh, were wondering what I got, and we're gonna be shooting on Kodak Vision 3 50D film. So we're shooting indoors, but we're getting a good amount of uh, light from outside. So we're gonna see how it renders, we're gonna see what it does. Yeah, I think, I think it's time to get to it, so let's do it. You got two AA batteries right there. So you got your cartridge, you just slide it on in there. And it's time to shoot. Very simple. I believe this camera was made in like the late 70s. Okay, so we're gonna get our first shot on Super 8. Let's get it. All right. It's exciting. All right, let's get a different angle. This thing. Really? Actually a good thing. Okay, okay. For point shoes. I could be like putting the point shoes on. Yeah, 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 let's do that, let's yeah. do that. Yeah, I'm gonna get over the shoulder right here. All right, I'm gonna focus, there we go. And yeah, let's, let's do it. Yeah. It's hard because I can get trigger happy on this thing and we only got, I think, three and a half minutes of oh, digitized okay. video. Uh -huh. When I get yeah. it scanned, we only got three and a half minutes, so okay. gotta make this work. We're only at 10 feet right now. How are your feet, like? They hurt. I feel like the more often you do it, the less they hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been a minute for me. Yeah. Also, my toenails are really long. Kind of gross, but like the longer your toenails are, it's not good. Like you want short toenails. Have you had like ingrown toenails from? Yes. <laughs> Dang. It was intense. That was after shooting on point. I feel like when you're still, too, it hurts more because you're just like all your weight's down. Mm -hmm. But when you're like, when you're moving and stuff, it's not as bad. Oh, like, uh, wow. Like transferring weight. The truth. Yeah, but it's like standing, how you get sore from standing all day long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm not going to try that. We, we just, I'm going to leave that there. You got to have the proper equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll track you. You can just drop it by the point shoes and then, and then walk off. Yeah, yeah. Damn, okay. All my friends I get on motorcycles and in the crashes. Yeah, that, I, that's why I'm good on, I'm good on motorcycles. You like motorcycles? Yeah, no, I'm good on motorcycles. Not in LA. Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Yep. Oh shit, I missed it. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. The beauty. Oh, I love strobes. Do I need a powder or anything? Touch up? No, no. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so this is about, about waist up. Okay. All right. And three, two, one. I'm not gonna lie, that may be the winner for me, but we'll see. Sweet, I
sound is good we good uh what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i appreciate y'all watching and i appreciate y'all watching me use this bad boy damn it sounds so soothing so refreshing the canon 514 xl super 8 film camera now before we get into this which we will get into this. I'd love to thank Track Club for sponsoring this video. I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys how I use Track Club and integrate the music into my videos. You ever listen to like a song and you wish certain parts of the song could be eliminated or you can take out specific instruments? Well, this is one of the main reasons why I got hooked to Track Club. So we're, we're going to hit discover and they have a ton of featured artists and playlists and new releases you can choose from trending songs. So let's see what they're talking about with the late night drive. OK. OK, this is what I love about track club that you can't do anywhere else. Say you want to eliminate a vocal or there's a specific instrument or a sound that you're not rocking with. Mixlab is an integration that they have where you can deconstruct the song yourself and remove or add sounds that you like. So let's give it a play. Okay, so I'm really not feeling the drums on this song. So this is what we're gonna do. survive whole different song now which is crazy whole different song this gives you the opportunity to mute sounds you can also single them out so say i only want the drums now we don't only want the drums this ain't uh making the band but we want no drums no single out, but we want the vibes. So keep in mind, you can do that with all your songs. Any song on here, you can deconstruct and make it yours. And I really enjoy that. And once you've done that, all you have to do is download it and you can download your mix in a WAV file or an MP3, or you can download the original song or you can download the stems. Now that's a little bit above my experience level, so uh, no need for the stems for me. But I usually just download it in Wave and then add it to my video or my project. So a lot of my music, my background music that I'll have when I'm shooting my videos or the song that I used to score the ballerina video was deconstructed on Track Club. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do on here. And check the link in my description if you're a creator, or if you just enjoy music and you wanna sign up and learn more about Track Club, the link will be in the description below. Now back to the Super 8 goodness. The Canon 514 XL Super 8 camera. This was my first time ever using a Super 8 camera. I got tired of using the LUTs and the overlays and the fake stuff. It's, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's just nothing like shooting on this thing. And this was an experience that I'll never forget. I did buy this camera, so I own it and I will be using it a lot more for certain things. I think I'm gonna shoot a short film, an entire sh actual short film on this bad boy very excited to use it i shot on 50d film and it came out pretty nice the colors i really didn't have to tweak too much i just added a little saturation in post now what i did struggle with being that it was my first time shooting on this thing was the focus now when you're looking through the viewfinder it looks a bit different so i really couldn't tell and it's super tiny i mean the the viewfinder is is so small you really can't tell when you're in focus and when you're not, unless you zoom all the way in, you focus first and then zoom out. But I noticed on a lot of my zoom ins that I was doing, it would go out of focus, which for some shots it worked, but it wasn't intentional. So I gotta get better with my, with my focusing. And you can also macro focus, which is really cool. There's a lever on this zoom lens that allows you to focus in macro and it's, Man, this is a fire camera. I was actually told by my homie Matia, who 
was the videographer for this video. He had the luxury of shooting with these cameras on an HBO series called Winning Time. And they use a lot of different film cameras. And it was cool to know that the Canon 514XL was one of the Super 8 cameras that they used. So pretty sick. I want to shoot features on film. And I was told a long time ago that if you do want to shoot things on film when it comes to movies and shows, you got to show people you know how to do it and you can do it efficiently. So I think that this is the perfect way to start. This shit was expensive. For one roll of processing, I paid almost 200 bucks. So I did push my film a stop just because I didn't want to risk it. We were shooting indoors and I was shooting on 50D, but I didn't want to risk it. But it is a pretty penny i will say that so have your pockets ready i believe that every film photographer and aspiring filmmaker should definitely own a super 8 or just experience it for the most part i had a blast with this i want to thank monroe for being a part i want to thank matia for being a part and i want to thank track club for sponsoring this video i hope y'all enjoyed it like the video if you rocked with it subscribe to the channel and i'll see y'all on the next one